This video will help to show you how to get maximum marks for NEA2 Section B, that's the Technical Skills section. Section B, the Demonstrating Technical Skills, is worth 18 marks. For the Technical Skills section, students should demonstrate technical skills in the preparation and cooking of three to four dishes. And it says refer to the food preparation skills section of the specification. Now I've included those 12 skills down in the corner and I will put the link in below this video. You also need to select and use equipment for different technical skills in the preparation and cooking of selected dishes. Food safety principles should be demonstrated when storing, preparing and cooking. Identify the technical skills within each dish. Photographic evidence will be needed to authenticate technical skills. Students will select three dishes to make, which allow them to showcase their technical skills to make for their final menu. The final dishes will relate to the task and, re and research and be dishes that have not been made previously. For example, a student could make the following initial dishes to demonstrate technical skills. So in the technical skills section, a student could make a fish pie and the technical skills shown here include filleting fish, making a sauce, vegetable preparation and piping potatoes. Perhaps also you choose to make a beef lasagna, so that's pasta making, sauce making, vegetable preparation. And maybe also a traditional quiche, which would be short cross pastry and blind baking. And a flavoured bread roll, so that would be bread making, kneading and shaping and maybe adding something like herbs. So that would be for your technical skills section. And for the final menu, these dishes could then become, for instance, fish pie could become fish cakes with parsley sauce. So you'd still be filleting the fish. The beef lasagna could become cannelloni with homemade pasta and tomato ragu sauce. So the beef lasagna has become that. And the traditional quiche could become a roasted vegetable flan with reduced fat ingredients to improve the nutritional properties. So the technical dishes evolve to become final dishes. To achieve top marks, students must attempt complex skills. Now here is the marking criteria a teacher will use to mark the work. And to get high marks, the student must competently execute a wide range of complex technical skills processes. So these are things like filleting fish, using the pasta machine, making pastry or cutting vegetables with precise precision and accuracy, such as julienne. Also, you should select and use appropriate equipment confidently and accurately. And finally, extensive review of technical skills that leads to appropriate and justified final dishes. So again, here are those 12 skills that I mentioned earlier. So for instance, if you're making soup with homemade savoury scones, the skills you would use would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 and 11. So you can see the skills um, at the top there. So those are the skill numbers you can enter in. The techniques would include vegetable preparation, blending, making a dough, baking and garnishing. Looking at the marking criteria of competently executes a wide range of complex technical skills processes, e.g. filleting fish or cutting vegetables with precision to produce excellent quality dishes. So as I've stated, it'll be three or four dishes you will complete. The complex technical skills, as I have mentioned, include making pasta, say using a pasta machine, Make sure you get photographs of you doing these things I'm talking about that include your candidate name and your candidate number. This is important. So other technical skills include filleting a fish, jointing a, a chicken, cutting vegetables with precision 
and accuracy and other complex skills include making shape bread that is flavoured, maybe adding herbs and maybe shaping them into, say, a plat, marinating and making a sauce too. I will put in a link below for the following table, but it's showing you basic, medium and complex skills. So you will be awarded the highest marks for complex skills. So you can see the first one here is an apple pie. So if you use ready made pastry, you will get marks, but not as many as if you do a complex dish such as a French apple tart and make a sweet pastry. That's where you'll get the highest marks. So in this section, section B, you will be expected to give reasons for choosing each technical dish. You can talk about why you've chosen it and how the dish relates to the task title, the nutrients it contains and any technical skills it will involve. You will also need to list the ingredients of the dish. I recommend that you use annotated photographs showing the skills you have used. I have shown some examples here. So for instance, I blind bake some pastry and I've written, I ensured the dough rested in the fridge to help the gluten relax and make it easier to roll. So do use food science terms where you can. I rolled out the dough evenly and gently placed it into the tin. I blind baked it to prevent a soggy bottom and prevented air bubbles forming by using baking beans. Then I carefully cut along the edges with a knife to create an even edge. For the pasta machine I wrote, I used a pasta machine on the lasagna setting at number five. I kept it well floured to ensure the pasta did not snag and remain smooth. And finally for the chicken, I used a red chopping board to join a chicken. I used a sharp knife to firstly remove the legs, wings and breasts. I ensured I cut close to the rib cage to make sure I got all of the meat and the carcass was used for stock so there was not any wastage. You will also need to uh, show the results of a sensory analysis of your technical dish. You can use a small number of tasters and then ask their opinions about the different attributes, such as the appearance, texture, aroma and taste. You can present the information in different ways, including a, a chart or a star profile. If your dish is generally disliked by your tasters, then it will help to affect your decision on, on what you make for your final dish. So the second part of the marking criteria, make sure that, that you select and use appropriate equipment confidently and accurately. And photos will help to show this. And you can also discuss certain equipment you use, such as filleting knives, uh, chopping boards, pasta machine or a food processor. So the next marking criteria is extensive review of technical skills that leads to appropriate and justified final dishes. So don't forget to show off your technical skills. So include photographs. Don't forget candidate name and number. What equipment and skills did you use? Remember that list of 12 skills and I will put a link in at the bottom of this video so you can see there's a little discussion about each 12 of those skills and that will help you. Complex technical skills need to be carried out to a high standard to, to get maximum marks. So presentation is really quite important. So talking about presentation, it is really important and it will get you high marks. So also remember to garnish your dishes too. There are some really good videos on YouTube to help with that.